Hi Pisces, welcome back to my video, um, my channel. <laughs> I'm here to do your October love and sex messages. So this is a disclaimer that there's going to be a lot of uh, dirty talk and profanity. So if that's not something you're into, you can you can say that I warned you. Okay, <laughs> so alright, let's see what's going on with my Pisces for October and love and sex please. Okay, so the first card we have here is embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. So if you've been going through it or whatever it is that you're going through right now in love, um, whether you're single or you're taken okay, in a relationship, it's pretty much telling you if you are hitting this point where you are a little confused or you're not sure where this is going because you know one minute you guys are talking the next minute they're ghosting you and you get a little emotional and you're stopping yourself from getting emotional it's telling you to embrace it that just means that you're catching feelings you're falling in love you're starting to care for this person and if it's a good thing for you is you know and you feel it in your heart that you love this person and you don't want you know to live without them then embrace how you feel don't there's no shame in that um and it's just pretty much telling you to, you know, don't push down on your feelings or judge your emotions. Whether this is you getting a little emotional or you find yourself getting emotional when you really don't want to. And it pisses you off. So, <laughs> you know, embrace it. You're only human. You go through certain things and you just can't help it, you know. So, then we have receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. Okay, don't be afraid to get a little bit, you know. I know you're the one that's always giving most of the time. And you don't expect anything in return from people or anybody. So this is pretty much saying it's okay for you to receive. Embrace it. It's time for others to give back to you in love, emotionally and sexually too. So and take it, baby. Take it as you can. Love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person wonderful person okay deserving all of the wonderful things that life has to offer you see that love who you are pisces no matter what flaws and all whether you're emotional wreck a hot mess or a beautiful disaster okay male or female just embrace who you are you are who you are i am what i am and the right person will love you for your craziness that will put up with your your shit will put up with your whatever you'll meet your match okay so just don't ever be afraid of who you are okay what you believe in and what you're into and who you're into that's just you you know you don't have to explain yourself to anybody let's pull some cards from the fortune reading cards oh we have key we have cracker and we have snake Okay, so let's start with key. New beginnings. Directions and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. You hold the key to unlock something new. It's time for you to lock up the past. Okay, so lock it up. Throw it in the basement. Throw it away into the ocean. Let it go. Sh take it out of your body. Shit it out. Flush the toilet. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever you got to do, you just zip it, lock it, put it in your pocket, whatever. You have the key. You hold the key to new beginnings. It's there waiting for you. You just got to release the past, let go of resentment, let go of what no longer serves you. Then we have Cracker. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. And that's exactly what's waiting for you on as soon as you open up that, as soon as you get the key and open it up, mm-hmm, and you're ready to let go of the past, this is what's going to come in. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. Then we have Snake. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. But be careful. Okay? Be careful who drains you of your energy, especially when you're taking time to heal or you are surrounding yourself um, 
doing you, doing whatever it takes for you to heal, whether this is going through therapy, yoga classes, meditating, whatever it is, just be very careful who you allow in your space and your energy because it could drain you, okay? They could drain you, take advantage of your healing process and try to push you back down. You just never know who you could trust. It's just pretty much telling you take heed, okay? Precaution to the wind. So let's get some romance angel cards. Romantic feelings. Ooh, that flew right out. Children. And pay attention to the red flags. Funny how pay attention to the red flags came right on top of snake. Being careful, right? It says the signs are cautioning you. So if you have a, a certain feeling about a person, maybe, maybe a lover, maybe you feel like they're just trying to use you or whatever, pay attention to the red flags. What are they trying to tell you? Are they acting a certain way? Follow your, your intuition, your gut feeling, okay? Pay very close attention to that because you never know who's just trying to use you and drain you of your fucking energy and your love. Okay, then we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Get that key, open it up, and time to explore those feelings, okay? You feel what you feel. Like I said, exactly what this card means. Embrace your emotions. Romantic feelings. Then we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. This is pretty much letting you know that... Um, um, <coughs> your love life is being affected by children. So if you have kids or grandkids, okay... And maybe you can't let go of a specific person because you guys are tied together because of kids and you're trying to co-parent and it's hard and difficult. And it's hard to just, you know, walk away or let go. There's always conflict or whatever. And you're doing it for your kids. But that's also causing you to become unhappy and, and you know, whatever it is that you're going through. This could also represent that people or you could be you, okay, and the lover that you're dealing with, you guys are acting childish. You guys are acting foolish. Um, one minute you're ghosting them. The second minute you're taking an hour to respond just because they did that to you. Just doing like little childish things, okay? This could also represent you guys acting like kids. So be, be very careful about that because it just could be you guys that are co-creating certain problems because you're taking on childish ways. So let's get some... Um, Let's get some sexual cards here. All right. Sorry, I had to respond to a message really quick. All right. Then we have, ooh, we have six of cups reversed. Mm, this is, this could pretty much mean that you are letting go of someone from your past maybe you got with this person when you were really young and now that you guys are older and you have kids or whatever it's like you feel like it's time to go um just because you have kids with someone doesn't mean you have to you're you're stuck and bound to them forever that's that's that could be hell so you also could be teaching your children to just endure the pain of suffering and being with someone just for the sake of having children no you could the time has come for you to release that you know what i mean so just be very careful that's why we have the healing card here you have the power to heal yourself just just be careful who you allow in your energy during this healing process so okay we have the queen of swords reversed and this sexual deck okay this could mean that um Someone could be lying. What I'm seeing is someone could be lying or faking their orgasms with whoever they're having sex with. I don't know if this is you or an Aquarius Libra Gemini that you're sleeping with or someone that you know. But like I said, this could be you because you're probably not happy. Maybe that's why I pay attention to the red flags. You're not getting sex sexually pleased or, you know, you're having to lie about your orgasms or pretending that you're getting satisfied but really you're miserable and you're like oh my god what the fuck i need that sexual healing and this person's not giving it to me or i'm just not getting what i want sexually in this relationship anymore so then we have the knight of swords and the upright so notice how someone is trying to escape okay leave and then there's somebody here trying to stop them with their hands on the hip like where the fuck do you think you're going 
someone who is very trying to tie a person down, tries to stop them from being free. Whether you guys are both happy or not, or you're just miserable, but yet you still want them to stick around just for the sake of arguing, that's not healthy. So if they, this person decides to leave, let them leave. This could be literally someone, if you're in a relationship, this could be them saying, okay, I'm off to so-and-so and really they're not you caught them in a lie or whatever and they're out there just sleeping around being hoes or something and you're like oh no i know where you're going i know exactly what you're doing no i'm not gonna have that i'm not gonna put up with that shit if you leave you're gonna leave for good so let's let's see what other messages come out oh we have the knave of wands Bound chicka wow wow knave of wands you could be meeting a fire sign or someone has you know a really strong sex drive that you're going to be meeting finally someone who can get you on your knees and bend that ass over <laughs> someone who's just in love with like sex or who's not afraid to show their sexual side you know i feel like you you've been craving that a little bit you know getting into oral sex getting more into your your sexual side, your passion, your affection. Someone's been craving that. I feel like whoever's coming in is going to bring that out in you and you're going to love it. And if it's not, then you're just someone who's waiting to be unleashed. The beast is waiting to be unleashed in bed. And, you know, you could be talking to someone that's, you know, giving you that, that fantasy. So, yes. Could also represent someone who's very good looking. Good with their words, good in bed, and you're just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, we have the tower, okay, and this deck. In the sexual deck, it could mean that uh, this could be a shock. You're just like, wow, because you don't know. You finally sleep with this person, and they're like, oh, my God, he's, like, really big. He's packing, and you're just, like, shocked, freaked out, like, oh, my God, is this going to hurt me? Is this going to rip me apart? What the fuck is going to happen? Like, whoa. To me, this is someone who is, like, really, really big, and you're shocked, and you're like, oh, my God. <laughs> what am I going to do with that? Like, oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so then we have the devil. Wow. You see the devil. The devil here is, um, yeah, someone who's very seductive, Someone who knows how to get you, okay? Someone knows how to get in your pants. Drop it wherever you're at. Whether you're cooking in the room, in the fucking garage, they just pull your panties down and you take it like a whore that you are. No. <laughs> this person, okay, it could be a Capricorn, can take on this energy of showing you who daddy is, like a beast in the sheets. You, there you go. Speak about the beast in the sheets. Someone who's packing, big, good in bed, and who is just like a fucking hardcore Beauty and the Beast type of shit, okay? So, yeah. A very, very huge temptation coming your way. If it hasn't already happened, expect it because it's coming towards you. And you could be, you know, you probably caught feelings because of the romantic feelings. Like, hey... You know, I, I wouldn't doubt it. It's going to be hard for you to get off that train. <laughs> All right, we have the Four of Swords reversed. Ooh, you know in the upright that means healing and stuff like that. In the sexual deck reversed, this could represent someone who wakes up the next day walking side to side because of that big old dangling that was just inside of you or you're just like, oh my God, I need at least three days to recover. And you're like, ah, <laughs> I need a break. This person wants to do me 24 seven. They want to just fuck the shit out of me and fuck your brains out and stuff. But yeah, yeah that's always good, right? Mm -hmm. Embrace it. Okay, then we have the Ten of Swords. Look at that. Oh, this is like fucking 24-7. Just, this is pretty much someone who just fucks the shit out of you, fucks the life force out of you, and fucks you till there's no more fuck fuck left to fuck. <laughs> pretty much that's what it is. And you're kind of like stressed out because you're like, I need at least a week to recover. You're stressed out. You're like, oh my God, this person is coming. This person has stamina. They know how to last a long time and they just want to keep going. And you're all for it, but sometimes you're just like, can I get a break? Please. <laughs> Damn, it's like someone went from a boring relationship to a papal. Like, bam. You know what I mean? 
Okay, so we have the Two of Swords reversed, okay? Two of Swords reversed. Someone has made their decision. Someone could, you know, finally made the decision to sleep with this person that you've been waiting for or maybe had them wait a little bit. This could also represent that someone has been, you have been thinking about a specific person or sleep, uh, thinking about getting with them or sleeping with them and you finally made the choice to do it and you fucking did it. And now you have a hard time getting out of, their bed. <laughs> so let's uh, change the deck. Let's get some more cards here. Oh my, okay, fine. Those wanted to come out. We have, wow, the moon and the lovers. Oh yeah. With the moon card, okay, in the sexual deck, this, <laughs> this means that the person that you're dealing with, okay, or that you're going to be sleeping with, they are bringing your fantasies to life. Everything that's going on in your subconscious mind, it's like they tapped into your mind. They hijacked your mind. They uh, they literally spied on your brain and they just started doing everything that you ever dreamed of sexually, fantasize-wise, and everything that you were daydreaming about and you're just like shooketh. You're like, wow. How, the, how would they even know that? Are you real? Are you an alien? What the fuck? And then, like, with the lover's card here, this person admires you, okay? They love how you look, how you are. It's like, yeah, they admire you a lot. So, I'm telling you, you, you met someone who, you're going to be meeting someone who is literally bringing out the best of you sexually. This came out. Oh, wow, the magician. You see that? You could have literally manifested Dr. Dangling into your life. Whether you're male or female, you know. And if you're a male watching me, you manifested a woman who knows, who can take it 24-7 and who can give you that sexual and oral pleasure that you seek. Okay, you manifested that. Look at that. A dinosaur? What, what is that? Like a dinosaur or something? With a big old dangling. Someone co-created the perfect person in their mind with, with the packing. You know, someone packing. Brought it to fruition. And now you're getting what you want and you're shooketh. Especially with the tower card there. You're like, wow. You are everything I dreamed of in a man and more. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Then we have, ooh, we have the mirror card. Okay, the mirror is reversed. Someone, I feel like you're not seeing, you're not seeing yourself as, let me rephrase that. For a very long time, I feel like some of my Pisces have been holding back who they really want to be. Okay, they've been lying, you've been lying to yourself about what you want, what your, your desires are, you've been holding back. Literally, with the mirror card reversed, you have not been living your best life the way you want to. Lately, a lot of my Pisces have been living their life according to pleasing the other person and neglecting yourself. Now it's time for you to embrace you, to embrace what you want, what you want to do. Let me fix the camera. Who you want to do and just embrace it, you know. Go after what you want. Seriously. It's time for you. Time for you, boo. Self-reflection. Especially with the moon card here. Then we have the two of earth reversed. Okay. This could represent that someone is tired of dating. They no longer want to juggle multiple people or date multiple people. You just want to stay in one committed relationship and you just want to have fun and you just want them to be the one. And some of you could be meeting the one because they are literally everything you imagine co-created in your mind. You manifested the perfect person. So yay, Pisces. What else we got here? Four of Earth reversed. Yeah, this is letting go of something or someone that you were holding very, you know, very tight to, very close to. Holding on to someone who was not giving you the the attention that you needed. Look at it in the upright. She's being the center of attention. Here is not getting the attention that you need. So you are definitely going to let go and walk away from that. This could also represent you letting go of the fact that 
you need that attention. You want that affection. Who, who doesn't? And you will be finding that person to give it to you. So embrace it. I keep saying that, huh? Embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace it. All right. We have the five of fire reversed. Five of air. I mean, five of air. Five of fire, which is the five of wands reversed. The sexual deck. This could mean that you are literally going to be roughing it up in bed. You could be, you know, having sex with someone who likes it rough. Literally, the devil. You could be sleeping with the devil. We do have the devil card here. This is temptation. Someone really good looking brings out like the mysterious dark side of you in bed. Kind of like you're fucking moaning like a wild demon in bed. Like that's how good it's going to be. <laughs> God damn, Pisces. All right, let's get some oracle cards here. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Look at that. That explains why the mirror card is here reversed. It's time to focus on you. You can flip this around. Focus on you. Okay, look at you from now on. Not anybody else. It's time for you to spend some time for you. That it also explains why the Two of Pentacles came out reversed. Okay? It, it, it's time for you to drop it. And it's time for what turns you on, what tickles your melon, what tweaks your melon, whatever floats your boat. You know what I mean? Then we have freedom. And there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. There you go. There's nothing stopping you from going out there and getting it. Nothing stopping you from taking off or leaving a relationship that's no longer good for you. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. You see that? This is for those who are in a committed relationship and you want to make it work. Okay, some of you need to find that balance. Whether that's, you know... Having that equal give and take sexually, orally, romantically, okay? You need to find that balance. The balance is always good because if you're the one that's always giving, 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 and they're the ones always taking, taking, or vice versa, it's just it creates a problem. People end up cheating that way too. Imagine all unwanted, unwanted thoughts dissolving into the light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. You see that? Letting go of the negative thinking all the time. Dissolving into the light. Yeah. Yeah. See? Creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. That, co that goes back to that card that we, that we pulled. The key. It goes back to that. New beginnings. Directions and adventures. A way for those ready to let go of the past. Okay, take that fucking key, lock the oldness, lock the old away, and open up the new. Okay, so with that being said, Pisces, this was your message for October for love and sex. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in your next video. Bye! Remember to just keep swimming.